you socialised with Ghislaine Maxwell, you mixed in circles yes. with her. How well did you, you know her? I mean, I knew her, you know, on a social level. Uh, we hung out in several different countries. It, it wasn't just specifically London. It was New York and elsewhere and Los Angeles. And it was over about, what, since uh, kind of around 98, I would say, 97. Well, did you have any idea of what was going on? No. I mean, you know, for me, it was like I, I saw her. She was always travelling. She was always quite... She she didn't really always say where she was going. She would kind of appear in one country and then disappear. And, you know, she was always on the move. You kind of got that impression. It was always quite mysterious of what she was up to. Um, but she she had a very sort of happy energy about her and the people that she surrounded herself yes yeah, so there was a lot of girls but it was sort of young model type possibly but you when know. you find out what was going on did that surprise you i was really surprised shocked actually. yeah i was pretty shocked i mean the first time epstein was arrested i it wasn't even front front page news actually it was kind of like yeah. in the middle of a newspaper it wasn't made yeah. such a big deal You'd been to dinner parties with Jeffrey Epstein and right. Prince Andrew. Was Ghislaine Maxwell there as well? I mean, yeah, Ghislaine, Ghislaine was the one sort of choreographing the whole dinner or event. You know, she was she was the one that was the sort of life of the party. Epstein is not really... He was not really a very pleasant character. Really? Explain yeah. to us. I mean, you know, you look at him. He has all the money. He's got the looks as well. I'm just always interested... Did he have any charm, any modicum of charm? Not really. He wasn't a particularly social person. He'd rather hang out with his scientist friends and talk about genetics or something like that. Um, for him, Ghislaine was the one doing the socialising. Did he strike you as odd, an odd yeah. person? Yeah, a little odd, yeah. But just take us to, you know, bring us to a room, a dinner party, where they're all gathered there. I mean, what was that like? Were there girls being brought in and wheeled in front no, of people? Just, not you know, at all. Did you like, ever see anything that you thought probably in normal circles might raise a few eyebrows? You know, it was something that I saw quite a lot of. I was a young model and I was used to being... And I, I worked a lot in New York and Milan and, and, you know, around the world. And it was kind of a normal situation for me to be at a dinner with, you know a lot of other girls that were young and some wealthy guys. But do you think that you were brought into that situation? I don't know if you were there because yeah. you were Prince Andrew's girlfriend no, at the time. No, or were you there before. as this totty this, to kind of this titillate? Um, I was obviously there to entertain, you know, men that Epstein was trying to get a business deal done with. Hmm. And you weren't, by the Epstein or Maxwell, you weren't compromised or approached in any way from either of them? You didn't feel threatened by them? I, you know, it's a long time ago and... Could have um, been, but can't, you know... I can't, there's not, not something that, mm -hmm. that I can think of that they did something inappropriately to me. Mm -hmm. um, you know, besides the fact that when I stayed in Epstein's apartment, I was a little freaked out and I thought I was being recorded. But besides that, I don't remember... Ghislaine behaving or Epstein doing something that well, when you say have. being recorded, what, what do you mean? What are you referring to? Video recording? Well, I've spoken recording? about it before, yes. Like, when I stayed at one of the apartments, I felt like I was being watched, you know, like it was yeah. being recorded. And the thing that really freaked me out when this thing did go down and when Epstein was arrested and the, it started coming out that actually he did record, yes. you know? Yeah. And that's when I thought, wow, OK, I wasn't imagining it. Like, actually... Mm -hmm. For sure. That's so, what here's the thing. You get yeah. someone like Prince Andrew mm -hmm. and he goes and stays with Epstein or anybody who's well, he invited... he was a smokescreen, basically, for all the real abusers. There's a long list of other people that haven't come out yet. Um, and do you think these names will come out? I think so. I mean, you know, I know quite a few of them. Um, and and you're talking about, are you talking about powerful people, well-known people? Powerful people, yes. And, you know, it's really right now, it's the girls that are really terrified. It's the, the, it's the girls that Virginia has silenced and blocked that have tried to get help from her. Um, uh, what, do you, what do you mean there, that Virginia has blocked? She blocked them. She would block them on Twitter or her you know, foundation would block them when they're trying to get help. And I don't... But we should point out at this point, you don't believe Virginia's testimony that she was in any way... I, I, I believe she was 
abused by Epstein and Ghislaine, I believe that, but she became a recruiter. And she's admitted that on television. She did become a recruiter. And I have a girl, one of the girls with a story, where Virginia watched her being drugged and raped and Epstein was taking pictures of her. She was 12 years old being raped and Virginia didn't try and help her. For me, that's like... You know, she's not a real victim. I mean, not a victim. Okay. Like that. Well, let's talk obviously, about she's not here to, yeah. to counter that. But, um, yeah. yeah. And let's talk about this famous picture, the picture that ultimately a lot of people say really implicated Prince Andrew in all of this. Do we have the picture we on do the have screen? A picture, Can yeah. you zoom in on the left-hand side of the shoulder where the painting grows into his right shirt? Now. No. Well, that, that, that little thing on the, on the left-hand side of his shirt, is this, it's actually such a bad Photoshop. It actually grows into the shirt when you zoom in on it. So the person that actually took the photo I'm in contact with, and he explained to me how there's a double layering of the shirt. If you look at the left-hand side of the shirt, there's two, there's two people. They use the body double and Epstein. The hands are Epstein's hands, and I've actually seen the original, and it's Epstein's head. When I first saw the original picture, mm -hmm. I actually got really right. But if, out. If, if that is the case, and if you're so strong about that, and if you think forensically you could prove that, why would uh, the Well, we found this out after, after he paid her. OK. Yeah, okay. unfortunately. Right, so Prince Andrew didn't feel he could challenge this in court at the time, which is why he obviously settled right. for millions of pounds out of court. I mean, he could come out and try and clear his name if it's as cut and dry as... He's not it's allowed right. to discuss it because they have a clause when they sign the agreement. He cannot talk about it. Mm. You've described Epstein as weird. Did you... There was just something off about him. Yeah, right, you know? we'll get that, I get that. Mm. What about her? She's the one now uh, serving 20 years in, in, in prison. Right. Um... I did you like her? Yeah, she was a likeable person. I mean, she never did anything bad to me. You know, she was always very pleasant. Um, that's why it was so shocking when this came out. 20 years, I mean, that is what her lawyers actually requested. That's what they asked for is 20 years. Um, I think she'll end up getting less, but... To be honest, she's going to be dead within six months, probably. There's no way... So you, this is your conspiracy? Um, Not a conspiracy. No? I mean, Epstein was killed... One thousand percent. Well, okay, we, we know that. Well, no, we, we I can't know say that. that unequivocally. That's not been okay, proven well, in I've, any but shape I've or spoken form. to people. There's lots that, of theories about I've it. I've spoken to four people that do post mortems. He had liver spots on his back. If you've actually seen all the pictures of him dead, like properly, like all the photos that were erased from the internet, I've seen them. And he had liver spots on his back, and you only get that if you die lying down. So he was lying down, sleeping in his cell, and that guy, Nicholas, came up behind him and, and well, strangled him. OK, wow. I don't okay. know who that yeah, guy Nicholas is, but again... <laughs> Nicholas whether... was the cellmate who's, like, that really All right, well, guy. I don't know where Nicholas is, but, again, he's not here to deny and defend himself with that. But, interestingly uh, enough, then, what you're really saying is we have a I'm, conspiracy I'm here all... of powerful and rich people whose interests are not being served by... Either Jeffrey Epstein the thing is, or it's the biggest Maxwell. cover up. And yeah. So we while they're never... alive, they're in danger. Ghislaine is never going to talk. Because of that? I think no one's going to be encouraging her to talk. And unfortunately for her, I don't think she's going to come out of there alive. It's interesting because you, you're making lots of accusations and, and, no, 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 and see this facts. as a big this conspiracy. Is, not... and, and yet the, the person that a lot of people still see as being involved in this conspiracy, you can believe is completely guilt-free in all this, and that is Prince Andrew. Yeah, I mean, a, people will be suspicious he's basically that you see a widespread conspiracy. No, it's not a mate. conspiracy. I, ha I have the witnesses. I've got signed affidavits. I've got the... Pr like, it's not a conspiracy. Basically, you know, the, the mainstream news has just been, like, going along with this false narrative just because they're actually too lazy. When I started finding out these things, journalists have just been lazy and they've just been re regurgitating the same well, thing. Well, journalists have to follow strict codes of conduct when it comes exactly. to Exactly, and they're reporting. probably getting paid off. Well, no, they're also frightened of lawyers, uh, naturally enough. You know, yeah, that's, I mean, that's for me, it's odd. about finding out the truth. Yes, yeah, OK. Well, and look, you believe what... what you believe, Lady Victoria, and you, you've mixed there, you've experienced, you know people close up and, and personal in all of this, uh, and it is fascinating whether people uh, care to believe you or not. Um, it is very interesting hearing yeah. what you have to say, and you certainly believe what you have to say.
Yeah, and I think well, Alan Dershowitz, uh, he wrote me the other day. I'm in contact with him, and he's he's just had a very successful deposition again with Virginia on his case as well. So I we think... should explain. He's a very very high profile lawyer in the states, but he's also been implicated in a number of the allegations. Exactly. Himself. Virginia has accused him. I'm also in touch with Rena, who also has a lawsuit against her mm-hmm. um, for defamation right. one. So I'm well, in look... touch with all of them. Uh, are you still in touch with Prince Andrew? Because the reason I'm asking you that is he hasn't got a lawsuit against him, and and yet the man's public life... has been destroyed by Virginia, who has been spouting lies the whole time. Right. Exactly. Well, that, well again, that's what you say. I, I have the witness that okay, took no, the photos. No, OK, OK, but my point in general is... And he's... Is he's, Prince Andrew finished in the public eye? Well, he should... No, he's not, because he didn't, he didn't do what he's been accused of doing. Do you think you'll see him back on the public stage? Yes. I mean, I really hope so. I mean, what he's gone through is is disgusting, actually. I mean, he doesn't even drink. And, like, Virginia's, you know, her her, her novel that she wrote, that her, her fantasy novel, you know, she talks about being in tramps and drinking vodka. He doesn't even drink alcohol. He never has. So, like, every journalist that actually went along with that story, they know, they've met him, yeah. they've gone to Buckingham Palace, they know he doesn't drink. I mean... Um, in... His, his ex-wife, um, Sarah, describes him as a good man. Right. How would you describe him? Yeah, I mean, the same thing. I think it's, it's absolutely horrific what he's gone through. But why did he settle for £12 million? He didn't want to settle. And the thing is, I, was, I started finding all this stuff as that was going on, because I was... Been, you know, I was in con- constant contact with his lawyer from when I started investigating it. They reached out to me. Um, and, unfortunately, the witness that came forward about the photo, that was after once he'd signed with Virginia. So, so Ghislaine Maxwell... He can't talk about it. He can't talk about it. No. Ghislaine Maxwell's not going to talk about it uh, no. for, for fear of her own life as well. But will there be more names? Will we hear more I, through the victims? I think so. Yeah, there's going to be there's going to be you know some people coming out. The, the problem is that the real victims, the ones that were really you know this one girl as an example, she had her babies aborted when she was 12 years old, and um, you know her life is just absolutely hideous, like her life story. But I'm helping her with a lawyer, and she's getting, you know, stronger to, to, to come out. Uh, just finally, I know you, you're still in touch with Prince Andrew and other members of the royal family. Um, how frustrated have they been by Prince Andrew's connection with Jeffrey Epstein? What's the mood in the family in relation to this whole scandal? I really can't say. Um, uh, I don't know. I can't say it, yeah. really. But, you know... It's uh, it's something that obviously he he always wanted to prove his innocence, and um, unfortunately, because he is such a good man, he he did it for his mother, and uh, and now he is gonna have to prove his innocence. Would, would relations be strained uh, between the prince and other members of the royal family? Do you think? I mean, I imagine so. Mm. Okay. Uh, Lady Victoria, thank you very thank much you indeed. Coming in. Thank you. Interesting. You're very well, interesting. No. You know, you've obviously done your homework. You obviously believe in this passionately. You don't yeah. think we've heard the end of it. No. But you don't think that uh, Ghislaine Maxwell will ever speak and may not live I, to speak. I don't. I, I. I don't think she'll be alive more than a year. I'll be really surprised. Goodness me. Goodness me. Uh, you're listening to Lady Victoria Hervey on the Ghislaine Maxwell sentencing uh, there. Um, she herself is a British socialite. She's a friend of uh, Prince Andrew uh, as well. And uh, so thank you very much. No indeed. problem. Thank you. thank you for having me. Welcome to the GB News YouTube channel. You can watch us live 24 hours a day, catch up on your favourite shows and join in the conversation in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe and you'll never miss any of our exclusive content.